coordinate points. Okay. And we know the measurement we are aware that the distance from here to here, this height over here, right? This is your Y. And then we are also aware that this distance From here to here, this is your Z. Then we can we can write we can write this out where tangent pi. Right, looking at that relationship in the on the diagram, tangent pi is equal to y over Z. Right. Tangent pi is equal to uh, uh, y over z. And again, we know that uh, where pi is positive uh, clockwise uh, from z axis, and the rotation pi is negative when it's counterclockwise from z axis okay so from here we can substitute this right we can we can we can we can put this into our equation we can put substitute this into the equation over here not 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 this one i apologize into this equation over here Right, we have a y over z. So we know that tangent theta is equal to i y y over i z z tangent pi. Okay, so that is our equation number two. So the objective is to find the orientation of the shear angle. Oh, sorry, of the shear angle, the orientation of the neutral axis. So we want to find what is what pi. Okay. So our 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 right over here. So the final form to determine the orientation of the neutral axis is equal to tangent pi, right? is equal to IZZ over IYY. And then this is our tangent theta. Okay. So this is to use, or this is used to determine the orientation of the neutral axis. Okay. So is to use, so this expansion is to determine the orientation of the neutral axis okay in the uh, yz plane okay so this is the formula Okay. Now, this formula is not uh, difficult to use at all. If and only if you you follow this diagram over here, this figure over here, right? And you have to bear in mind the transformation will rotate with the structure. Okay. A lot of times when I teach uh, this course, uh, students are not able to get it right because they they fail to visualize that the transformation will rotate with the structure okay now 
last week we did a question, right? Last week we did a question. I'm, I'm going to take the same question, right? So the question is on this one, okay? I'm going to take the same question. And then we are going to find the position of the neutral axis. I'm going to do two examples, but I'm going to start with this one. Okay, so so we, we did this example last week, or not last week, on Tuesday. So this is example number one for today. So from 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 here, right? We 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 want to determine the orientation of the neutral axis. We want to determine the orientation of the new axis. So the formula we're going to apply is tangent pi is equal to IZZ over IYY tangent theta. Okay, so last week we found out what it was our IYY. So IYY, if I could refer to our notes last week, IYY was 64 inch to power four. And then IZZ from Tuesday, IZZ we also is equal to 88, okay? So 88, inch to power of four then the next thing we want to determine okay we want to find what is our theta so theta you can see over here remember what i what i i, I told you at the the orientation of theta so let's see what's theta okay so theta is from the z-axis relative to the moment vector okay so from the z axis and the moment vector that is the orientation and clockwise is positive so from here we know that this angle from here to here is 20 degrees and it's going to clockwise so positive 20 so we know that this is positive 20 okay so therefore tangent pi is equal to so izz is equal to 88 divided by 64 right then we have tangent 20. so therefore pi will be equal to so we take our calculator uh, tangent 20 times by 88 divided by 64 uh, inverse tangent is equal to 26 point uh 26.6 degrees Sorry, positive 26.6 degrees. So what does this actually mean? Okay, what does this actually mean? So I'm going to take out my protractor. Okay, so 26.6 degrees positive means it's going in a clockwise direction from z-axis. Okay, remember I tell you z axis is the axis is going to rotate from. Okay, so I, I'm taking out my compass now. I'm measuring 26.6 degrees and I'm going to draw the orientation. Okay. So I'm, 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 this is pretty accurate stuff, okay. So here, right this is our position of our uh, neutral axis
is going clockwise from the z-axis and this is 26.6 degrees okay so if we were to recall if you look at point a and point b uh, on tuesday we calculated point a and point b okay so point a and point b is minus point b so so minus point d is what positive why do i why, why am i doing this work so anything that is on 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 this side of the neutral axis is going to go through compression okay it's going to go through compression And anything that is opposite, going opposite direction, I'm drawing in blue now, is going to be in tensile. Okay. So we have found the position of the new axis. Okay. Let's do another example. This, 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 this one is easy. Okay. This one is easy. Okay. So I want you all to uh, pay close attention to example number two. Okay. Now example number two is slightly complicated. Okay, so let's look at example number two. Okay. And so oh Example number two. <laughs> okay. So example number two, what I'm trying to uh, drive over here is remember important uh, to remember that the transformation rotates with the yeah, with the structure okay so what so the formula we're going to apply is the same okay so what we are we are given that i y prime is equal to 6.74 in just about four, right? So it's all given down here, okay? And we also know that IZ prime is equal to 21.4 in about four, okay? Now, the next thing that you have to remember is what is your theta, right? So we know theta is going to measure from Z. Okay. And Z prime is rotating uh, with the structure. If you were to ask me to draw the global structure, it will have been this orientation. Y and Z. But remember what I told you, right? In this formula or in this deviation or in this figure, Right, the y and the z axis rotates together with what the structure. You have to remember that. Okay, so from here we know that theta is from what z prime now. Okay, now z prime is if you look at z prime now the rotation is in what direction? Anticlockwise. Yes or no? Right. This is in the counterclockwise rotation so therefore so this is our theta right so therefore the theta is equal to minus 45 degrees right because we say sorry i uh, if i've said wrong it's in the anticlockwise and anticlockwise is what negative because we derive it okay we state down here right the the positive is clockwise right the negative is counterclockwise okay so now for this case is anticlockwise okay 
So now we know that it's anticlockwise. So the next thing we do is just to plug in the formula. So now we have tangent 